Hi, I'm Will Provencher, founder of Tactical Haptics, and I'd like to introduce a revolutionary new technology that will bring unprecedented levels of interaction and immersion to virtual reality and gaming. With the success of the Oculus Rift, we've seen the emergence of consumer VR. And with the recent Kickstarter successes of the Virtual Xomni and the STEM tracking system, you can now move naturally in VR. Despite these advances, touch feedback in virtual reality is still limited to buzzing and vibrating. And that's where our technology comes in. I'm a professor of mechanical engineering and I've been researching touch feedback interfaces for almost 15 years. We recently developed a way to provide force torque-like feedback in a motion controller that's significantly more engaging than rumble, but without the cost and complexity of force feedback. We call this technology Reactive Grip. I've been a part of Dr. Provencher's lab for the last four years, and during this time I've designed and evaluated several haptic devices. Our initial devices provided direction feedback to a user's fingertip, and have since evolved, making more realistic and complex experiences possible. Through device exploration and listening to our users, we recognized our technology's ability to create richer and more immersive game experiences. I remember experiencing the rumble of GoldenEye on the N64 over 15 years ago, and I see that same surprised reaction of people using the reactive grip. Through the reactive grip, I felt the weight of a shield, the kick of a gun, and something as subtle as a fish biting on the line. And I can't wait to see where the community takes us next. Our technology conveys motion and force information by moving sliding contactor bars that are built into the grip. By moving these bars, the reactive grip can give the sense of an object's weight or of an impact. By moving these bars in opposition, it creates the feeling that the handle is wrenching or twisting in the player's grasp. This lets the player feel a bending fishing pole, the suspension of a vehicle, the stretching of a slingshot, or a medieval flail. We call it reactive grip because we track a player's hand motions and then react to those motions, providing the feedback that they would expect if they were holding a real gun, sword, or a fishing pole. Our controller will primarily use the stem tracker from Sixth Sense, but if you have a preferred tracker like the Razer Hydra, we'll make it easy to clip on. We designed the stem system for innovative developers like Tactical Haptics that are trying to push gaming interaction to the next level. I used the Reactive Grip prototype with our motion tech, and I was amazed how it provides real, tangible physics to virtual objects. I just tried out the reactive grip controllers and I think together with the Virtuix Omni and the six and stem trackers, this makes for a complete and immersive virtual reality experience. Of course we're excited about our technology, but we're more excited to see people's reactions to the demos that we gave at GDC. It feels really heavy. That is sweet. It was also great to get validation from leading researchers at this year's World Haptics Conference. This is, this is really cool, so. It does feel like it's great. It really feels like so. wrapping around. Yeah, I know. I think it's a great device. Yes, and I'm really something that I can do all of this with a single device. We've made a handful of demos with the objective of priming the creativity of developers and researchers. Whether you're interested in developing something entirely new, making mods of your favorite shooter, RPG, or flight simulator, Maybe you're making navigation aids for the blind or working in human-computer interaction. We want to support the use of Reactive Grip in your project. VR is not just about vision. It's about all of the senses, and physical feedback is a huge part of that. Um, feeling the tension when you draw back a slingshot, or feeling the heft of a weapon as you pick it up, and then feeling the weight shift as you move that weapon through virtual space. Uh, that is the unique experience and illusion that Reactive Grip delivers. It's been great interacting with Will and his team through their demos at the Silicon Valley VR meetups. I first tried the Reactive Grip at GDC and I was immediately convinced it had a place in the VR landscape. The controller offers compelling touch feedback for many types of interactions and can provide convincing sensations of torque and weight that go well beyond the simple rumble of other controllers. I hope you'll join me in supporting their campaign. The guys at Tactical Haptics have some excellent technology. They've been working really hard on it, and it shows. And these guys have figured out just how to make the suggestions, the subtle suggestions, in your hands, and the tips of your fingers, and in your hands, as, as you interact with the scene. It's really exciting stuff. And now it's time to get this technology out of the lab and into the hands of the VR community. 
The first step is your help in backing our project. Whether you choose one or a pair of reactive grip controllers, you'll receive device drivers and SDK for Unity and C++. We hope you're as excited about our technology as we are, and we ask for your help to bring reactive grip to consumer VR and gaming.